10.2 main and alts. What is the best class spec to main or to alt or to do both in terms of, of course, fun, talents, tier sets, damage, everything that it can bring because it's a big melting pot of fun stuff. There are a couple of specs here that you might be surprised about anybody choosing to main them and putting them on alts. Listen, we're gonna straight up go into affliction and we're going to put affliction all the way into uh, maybe an alt, maybe an alt. Listen, that doesn't say anything that affliction is necessarily bad. It's actually getting a lot of love in 10.2. However, so are the other warlock specs, which we're going to get into. But affliction is kind of slightly still a little bit weird for me there's just way too much competition and it feels like affliction is in a transition the tier set is granted pretty fun but it is still maybe an alt not yet main because probably because i just got out of maining a warlock already and although not really tied to affliction in the process of figuring out potential mains and alt i had to test a lot more specs as main candidates like survival hunter especially to get footage for videos like this one which has been, to be fair, a lot easier with today's sponsored Outplay. The app is super easy to set up and record in the background, which comes in handy if you're also streaming. But hey, maybe you just want to capture some really cool moments or some MDI type play you did and shared with your friends or guild. Easy mode to share any clip you want directly to Twitter or Discord with just a couple of clicks. And it all starts with one click in the description of the video to download Outplay 100% free. You get to make awesome clips and also support the channel. It's a win-win. Thank you Outplay for sponsoring the video. And now let's see if Arcane Mage is worthy of maining. Arcane. No, I'm sorry. Listen, I am actually, in terms of concept and fantasy, I like Arcane better than all the other mage specs. I like Arcane. I'm a big fan of Daddy Khadgar. I just don't vibe with the current version of Arcane and Dragonflight. It's just a little bit wonky. It doesn't feel like it has its own identity yet. It feels like every little part is trying to do a bunch of stuff and the capsules are kind of putting the nail in the coffin rather to say i think it has potential though and i hope that one day our kid can actually vibe with me but unfortunately right now i'd rather not play arcane at all now arms is <laughs> fun enough maybe a main because arms is in the melting pot of warrior and warrior is always an alt at the very least for me because i do love to play warrior it has one of my favorite tank specs and ARMS is definitely my favorite DPS spec of the Warrior. Spoiler alert for Fury coming down the road, ARMS is actually really fun. I like what they're doing with the tier set. I'm definitely going to consider it as a main, but it's not yet decided. It needs a little bit more, and that's what maybe main is. Now, assassination is probably a good point to make when it comes to uh, deciding exactly what the main is. Now, main, what I put into the main is essentially main candidates and assassination is definitely one of them because I haven't yet decided since uh, this it's just way too early. There's no point in deciding right now, but assassination is ticking pretty much all of the boxes. It has an amazing playstyle with the talent rework that we're getting. The fantasy is there. The tier set is really cool. The damage seems to be good. And so far, it doesn't seem to have the same mythic plus issues that it currently has, which is a big up for me because I like doing some dungeons and I like doing AOE and assassination, assassination is bringing it. Now, Balance Druid has been a main contender for a very long time. I have played it recently in our Dungeon Dojo Invitational, if you've caught it on our stream where we participated in a, in a dungeon competition of pushing the keys, and I've kind of seen some issues with balance. I'm gonna put it into maybe main. I think it needs a little bit more, and what that more is, what probably the entire community of Balance Druid is upset about, and that's using Celestial Orbital Strike. Jeez, I cannot get my head wrapped around this. We had for a week orbital strike available to talent into because it wasn't a choice node with arcanic pulsar anymore and that was the most fun balance druid have had i think in dragonflight and speaking of me personally because we are talking about a main that is what actually made me fall in love with balance druid when it was introduced in the dragonflight pre-patch in shadowlands where you had the arcanic pulsar legendary so you could actually talent into a celestial orbital strike why do i keep calling celestial because it's just a choice note i think those choice notes should never never be on the same note again unless they change that balance is probably just going to be a maybe main or maybe downgraded to an alt 
Beast Mastery, oh, as well. It is also a maybe main for me. It's a strong contender. I feel like it's missing a little bit. The tier set actually is what's propping this spec all the way here because I'm not a big fan of the talent tree. It's getting actually a rework of the Call of the Wild, which is something that we haven't really played with at all in Dragonflight ever since it was introduced. Now, is this a good cooldown? So far, all of the theory crafting and testing that I have seen, I don't think people played Call of the Wild in some of their best logs and some of their best parses. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a meta thing to play. I hope it is. And if it is, it's probably going to rank all the way up to main for me. But until then, it's maybe a main. Blood Decay also maybe a main for me. I actually like the tier set and especially after the rework of making it proc after runic power consumption and not after bone shields breaking. That's definitely a big quality of life. But also similar to Beast Mastery, it has kind of a wonky talent tree. You're probably still going to be playing the same thing. I am yet still not playing Gorfin's Grasp, which is a core, first of all, DK ability, but more recently, a blood DK fantasy thing. It is just not viable to pick it. And I think that's a big shame, especially as consumption as well, which is why it's not up there with main for me. Brewmaster is probably going to be maybe an alt. And this is a problem with me when it comes to tanks. It's a fun tank. It's probably a strong tank. It's probably going to be better in 10.2, but... I don't like playing a DPS spec and that's kind of what Brewmaster is. It has a major amount of buttons that you have to press and what? 90% of them are all damage sources, which is fine. Tanks should do damage, but I don't feel like a tank. Like my tankiness is pretty much passive and we did talk about this in the Monk Rework video. I like to interact with my tankiness, with my damage reduction. That is what is fun for me as a tank, not actually spamming damage abilities. Doing a lot of damage is fun, but if I'm going to end up doing that, I might as well just play, I guess, Windwalker at that point. Demonology is actually very dangerously close to becoming a potential main again. Right now, it's an alt. It's clearly an alt. It's getting some very interesting changes in terms of its demon fantasy. Piddlord obviously has went through a couple of changes. The previous one was shit. Now it's actually decent. And the way that the Nether Portal interacts with your playstyle is something that is very important to me because it's core to my demonology fantasy. I am still not a fan of what they're doing to Demonic Turn and capping its power. That was probably one of the coolest things demonology ever did is trying to scale up that tyrant to crazy amounts for those big demon bolts. Them capping it because... Yeah, well, obviously because of balance, but that's just not fun. Demonology and unfortunately a lot of other specs in this tier list are a good example of capping fun because of balance. And I'd rather have overpowered spec like Augmentation is right now and have fun playing the game than worry about balance and having things well. I could actually have more fun, but it would just be broken. That's not a good place to be in and I, I think that's probably where Demonology is. Destro is kind of in the maybe alt category. It's it's the same as with old Warlock specs. Well, Wilfred's... Uh, I think it's not called Wilfred's anymore. Um, I don't know what it's called anymore. The, the, the Reducing the cooldown of Infernal has been just flat capped again. Once again, capping the fun because balance. And we, we're not going to have like super short Infernals. Not to mention that it feels like the tier set would really be more fun to be played with Cataclysm in terms of immolation uptime. But you're not going to play with Cataclysm because similar to balance, it's a choice node with Inferno and Inferno is just way better. They're both fun. I would like to play with both, but it's not a possibility. Not to mention that the capstones for destruction are such a heavy investment of points and like the right side and the left side are both big infernal fantasy capstones and they worked together in the past and it made Destro really fun and now they're broken apart and you can probably never have both at the same time. It just feels bad. It feels like, oh, you've had fun with Destro, now you're never gonna have that much fun ever again because you can never pick these capstones together. That is not a cool feeling to have and I pushed through it in 10.1 as I main Warlock, but I just don't want to go through it again. So I'm not going to probably touch Destro too much. I like it as an alt, but not more than that. Devastation. I'm sorry. No. Evoker has been an exercise in good faith for me in terms of how I approach Dragonflight. I made it in the first patch because I wanted to put in, you know, my best foot forward. I keep saying this because I want to test out the new class. I want to be excited about the new class. I want to be excited about what it means to be in Dragonflight. But unfortunately, Evoker just did not do it for me. And this is with the Devastation as well. It's a fun class. It has some cool little things, but skinny lizards are not my thing. If I have to figure out that I'm kind of playing a dragon, that's that's not it. 
Discipline though. Oh, dude, discipline is definitely an alt for me. I know Marcelian really considers discipline as a potential main. I do want to preface that period, but discipline is getting a lot of love. I always like healing with discipline and I kind of put it to the, on the bench for Dragonflight, mostly because I don't like healing in Dragonflight, period. However, discipline is seemingly coming back to a really cool playstyle of heavy, heavy atomic healing, which is what I like about discipline and the rework ish of the talents in 10.2 plus with the addition of ultimate penance which it's i don't think it's numbers quite bring it up to par with everything else i hope they buff it accordingly but if they do buff it that can probably go to definitely an alt maybe a main but so far it's definitely an alt Elemental. Elemental is a class that I've been considering maining for a couple of months now, um, together with Enhancement, and we're gonna get... I Actually, since we are here, let's actually put Enhancement there as well. Both Elemental and Enhancements have been specs that I've considered maining in the past couple of months. They're really fun. They both kind of do the same thing. They both seem to be the most complicated version of ranged and melee DPS specs in the game. They have a lot of buttons. They have a lot of procs. They're really, 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 really fun. The only thing that's kind of keeping me from maining them is because... I kind of want to play Restoration, but I'm just not a fan of Dragonflight healing, so that's probably why they're not in the main category. Feral, on the other hand, is surprisingly a main contender, and that's mostly because I really want to play Druid, and I was hoping that I could DPS as Balance. However, Balance has taken a step down for me, and by that extension, Feral is just in a better state than it has ever been in. I've never mained Feral before. It's really cool. It kind of feels a little bit bad to play Feral when Rogue is just out there, but Assassination is just like right next to it. So it has very big competition. What Feral has going for it is that it can tank, and I always really, really like maining a class that can tank because in raids, I will most likely DPS more than anything, but in dungeons, I really like to have the option of tanking because I usually play with friends and 99% of them just like to DPS all the time. So I don't like waiting for groups and I like tanking. So that's why Feral is all the way up there. Fire Mage is getting, well, has been getting a lot of changes now. Fire is doing a lot better. It's still a maybe alt for me. I'm not a big fan of Mage and... Although I do have to agree that the current version of Mage is definitely way better, Fire is just not pulling me to it. It's not that it's bad, if this was Shadowlands and the Dragonflight Fire Mage was added in Shadowlands, I would probably play Fire Mage. But the reason why I'm not considering Fire Mage is that every other spec is just way more interesting. Fire is cool, it kind of feels like you're still doing the same thing over and over and as in the past expansions, so it's just not appealing to me. Frost, on the other hand, does see a much higher chance of me playing it. I'll put it in the front of maybe alt because I'm not yet convinced. I kind of miss playing a little bit of Mage, but I'm probably not going to consider it as a main alt. Maybe just play it here and there, maybe for some content, for some footage, for some context to kind of understand how the Mage class plays plays. Frost is definitely the more interesting spec for me currently with this design because I like Glacial Spike and I kind of like what they're doing to Frost in terms of overall design. Another Frost DK is probably going to be an alt for me. I like the Chill Streak and we did talk about the most fun melee in the previous year list if you haven't seen it yet. Frost hasn't ranked very highly for me. It's unfortunately not a main contender, not as much as Blood is, but I do like to have fun with Frost every now and again and I kind of always play like an alt. Similar to Fury Warrior, it's definitely going to be an alt. If I do end up maining warrior, it's probably going to be with arms warrior because fury is just it's fun but it's not going to keep the ball rolling for me for a long time since the rotation is fairly bland. It's good for a break but it's not good for a main for me. Similar to Bear as well. Bear is definitely going to be an alt. Now, I have played Bear quite a bit on the 10.2 PTR. Its tier set is still very lackluster even after the buffs and it kind of puts the spotlight on bear and its issues because why bear became so good in 10.1 was kind of a lot to do with the tier set now they've nerfed the tier set but they've also nerfed the spec as they always do and now when you take the tier set away its problems just become more apparent and bear just needs proper proper buffs in terms of its baseline kit i don't want it to be god comp i like bear but i don't want to feel squishy at all it's an alt so far now Havoc is also a potential main for me. I am kind of still waiting to see how the final touches on the rework go before I bump it. I, I am actually strongly considering, probably considering Havoc more so than ARMS. 
as a potential main because I do really, 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 really like what's going on with Havoc. I kind of like what's going on with Vengeance, but we'll get to that as well. Holy Priest is a strong no for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Holy Priest. You never get love from me and I don't know if you're ever going to. It's just a boring spec. It's fun. The fantasy is there, but discipline is just a much better version of a priest healer. Holy is fine if you, you know, want to have a vanilla feeling of a healer. That's cool. I feel like they just need to go deeper into the theme of the Angel of Redemption. They have a couple of talents. I do have to admit, they have a couple of talents that make Holy feel really cool, but not enough for me to consider it as a main. Holy Paladin is probably going to be a maybe alt. I am strongly considering Paladin, period, as a main, as a class. Holy is probably going to be the last spec I dip into, and because it's a healer, it's already a big disadvantage compared to all the other specs but it's looking like the the playstyle is just really good and what it's getting into 10.2 seems really fun so we'll see marksmanship also maybe an alt i am a fan of hunter and hunter with bm being so high is definitely a contender for a main but marksmanship once again similar to holy pan is kind of like the least interesting spec of hunter just because it's just getting not enough love. Hunter needs a rework, but Marksmanship is the biggest offender out of all the three specs. Miss Weaver, I kind of want to put it into no. I always love Miss Weaver more than Holy Paladin, for instance, to heal with. Probably more than Discipline, but uh, it's just not that interesting. I mean, it's cool. I'm just not a big fan of what it's doing right now and the place all that it's getting. Listen, I think Miss Weaver is probably one of the stronger healers coming into 10.2 so far from what we know about the patch, but that's not enough of a factor for me. I don't really care about performance. It's important, but not a deciding factor. Outlaw, however, it is a contender for main because the rogue is just cranking and I've never mained rogue and I haven't considered maining rogue more than it is now. I've always been a fan of outlaw. I like pirates. I like shooting guns at people and then slashing them with swords. So that's kind of it. And pretty much I've liked outlaw throughout uh, Dragonflight and at the end of Shadowlands I've played a lot of Outlaw and really digged the new talent. I never got around to playing it that much because we were really focused on making content and Marcelin has been maining Rogue so I kind of left it the last one to be leveled but that's not because I don't like it and now I feel like I kind of have to make up for it. Preservation, no. <sighs> this this is the biggest, probably the biggest spec disappointment that I've had in Dragonflight. It was really fun at the beginning and it kind of had to do with the fact that it was overpowered, but I also enjoyed the playstyle and what it meant for the playstyle to do with echoing a lot of the kit and stuff like that. I would have preferred them to just lower the overall healing numbers instead of just reducing cooldowns and mechanically nerf preservation. I did not like that and it just turned the spec into not having a lot of fun whatsoever. And it is how I decided that I will probably not hit like healing in Dragonflight whatsoever. Pro Warrior. I am considering this as a main, which is probably uh, at the lowest end of the main tier because I don't want to main a tank. I'm probably not going to main a tank in raid, but if I would main a tank in raid, it would probably be Pro Warrior because it is really, really, really fun. But I do want to main a DPS, but Pro Warrior is just really, really, really fun as always. So it's probably going to be a main. Pro Paladin is going to be a maybe main. I am putting it pretty pretty much in front there. There is a downside which cuz I was a, I was considering putting prop out the next pro warrior and that's the tier set. I'm not a fan of being stuck into consecration. I hope that they stop st Stop, stop it with making Consecration so vitally crucial for Pro Paladin's rotation. It is not fun to have static ground effects that dictate my survivability and, in this case, my damage as well. Which I think, actually, the damage is not even there yet. I think it just needs a lot more uh, buffs to make it worth it. But it's not fun. Do you understand how much I have to move the pack around as a tank to dodge the Swirlies, to dodge the Sanguines, to dodge everything like that? Putting all of my chips into one big Consecration that I will probably just have to get out of in a couple of seconds is just not fun. Why do you make these devs? The spec is so cool. Why do you make this tier set? Restoration Shaman. I am considering as an alt. I, in front of Discipline Priest, by the way, I I know I have been trashing healing and I thought that if I ever get back into healing, it would be with two healers. Restoration Shaman and I'll get to the next one soon. There's only one left. Lol. Yeah, the I love Shaman. Shaman is a class I always liked and I love Restoration Shaman as well. And similarly to Resto Druid, also here, I don't know if it's in front or behind. I think it's in front of Restoration Shaman because Resto Druid comes with the Druid class and it, the, that class can also tank while Shaman cannot. They're both really cool and they're the only, only hope for me to get back into healing. 
Red Paladin is a strong main contender. Uh, in front of Pro Warrior? Probably. In front of Outlaw? In front of Feral, but maybe not in front of Assassination. I don't know yet. I've been having surprisingly high amounts of fun with Red. It is essentially the melee DPS specs that I that I want. I'm super tanky. I have utility for everything. Kind of wish the rotation had a little bit more death to it. But hey, if you're not going to have death in your rotation, then this is how you do it. Not like Fury, where it's just... A little bit too much dumbed down, but red is the way to do it. I think red is probably together with rogue, but probably the best melee spec designed. It's very close to rogue. Rogue is, you know, they're kind of interchanging. Shadow Priest is definitely going to be an alt. Throw Dragonflight. Shadow Priest has taken a dip. I did consider maining it in 10.1. I'm not a fan of their talent switches and capstone switches that they did with the recent rework. Well, I say recent, but you know, the the most recent rework Shadow has gotten because I like the concept of all gods. I like the concept of switching capstones and theme and association with each old god, Yaxaran, Nazoth, Yashiraj, uh, Cthun, all that. But it doesn't feel like that flexibility is still there for Shadow Priest. And that was the main drive for me picking it. Not actually the damage or the PI or anything, just the fantasy of the old gods and how they impact my playstyle. If that ever comes back, I would bump it up a tier higher. Subtlety. <laughs> baby no this is definitely in front of feral um is it in front of assassination probably not but subtlety is definitely dude i'm actually considering the same mains that marcelin is always playing and this is so not the case with how we prefer our dps specs subtlety is just a blast the only reason why rogue isn't decidedly the main for me is because it cannot tank so i have to weigh that in but that's the only downside the only downside this entire godforsaken class has it cannot tank and that's it survival hunter it is also a main candidate it's lower than rogue though i don't know man i don't know survival is just really fun the tier set is really fun the, the talent tree is so busted but the fact that i'm considering it as a main just goes to show how much love i have for this freaking spec considering how much i trashed it for the last year unbelievable how fun this spec can be and how much the devs that are doing the talents can miss the mark so, so hard. And despite the talents being so poop, the spec is still very fun to play and it is a very strong contender for my main. Unholy DK is probably going to be an alt. I did consider putting into maybe main, but it's just not that close. I feel like it just needs a little bit. No, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it. I'll put it into maybe main. It is a potential, potential uh, choice. I feel like it needs a little bit more love, a little bit more fantasy because it has a long way to go before it comes close to red or it comes close to rogue. Not to mention all the other ones in the main category. Vengeance, also a potential main. I would probably put it behind Prot Paladin uh, because it is getting an interesting, interesting rework. I really love it. I never really liked the DPS aspect of Vengeance because it was very similar to the Brewmaster argument, but this is actually really, really fun. I know that there's a bug currently running on the PTR where the new talent Illuminated Sigils gives you 20% parry per mob you hit. So if you hit five, you get 100% parry from it. And you don't even need to hit five. You kind of need to just hit like th three of them and you get max parry chance. That contributed to the fact of me really loving its tankiness, but if you take that away, it's probably not going to be as tanky. I do want to see, I'm not a fan of my entire tankiness being tied to parry, because if it wasn't tied to parry, I would probably put it next to Prot Warrior. Windwalker, for me, I'm sorry, this is a hard no. Windwalker is just not in the same league as the other melee specs in the game. I know there are a lot of people that like Windwalkers, and hey, more power to you, that's all fine, but it doesn't hold a candle to the other melees in the game, I am sorry. Augmentation, also a strong no. At the bottom of the list, surprisingly enough, maybe surprising to a lot of people because I do not find Augmentation fun almost at all. First of all, it's an Evoker, it's a Blizzard, so that already puts it down two tiers behind everybody. But I have tested it. I think it's a fun concept. I do like the support concept. I think its execution might need a little bit more work so it doesn't get busted again. But I'm not a fan of the playstyle. I think it's a Decent spec is just not for me because fun is a crucial aspect. The, how, the way you look, the way you play is a crucial aspect into me choosing a main. And we already have a video on how I decide which of the most fun melee specs are. And we're going to have one for range soon. But until then, you can check the most fun melee specs into the game and kind of figure out exactly what goes into the mindset of potentially working your way towards getting a main by actually looking at the fun aspect first.